Finally, Farina God Mode. The boss has respawned. This dude does have like 70% Hydra Res, so this team probably wouldn't be the best. And I still haven't really developed any sort of strategy for him, to be honest. Just like attack him until he eats you, I guess. Yeah, but I mean, that was it. Gets kind of disabled here. And then we can just... uh wail on him unfortunately we still only got two i'm pretty sure we weekly bosses can drop three of these materials regardless four is enough to get her skill and burst to eight before we can even do that however we need to ascend her to 90 and also we can get her to c1 we probably will have a uh, impromptu summon session after she's raised. And after we actually check out C1, there were actually a couple things I wanted to sort of test with her constellations, especially because once you have C2, you can't test C1 by itself anymore. C2 just makes everything different. But anyway, we can actually immediately get her up to the fifth star and level 80. We have been doing a bit of farming uh, in between. We do need to do some more for God mode though. 50 lake light lilies. You can see it's primarily like, like two giant clusters and then a few you scattered about but yeah they're very easy to farm let's start with the boss run here because they always need time to respawn and then we're gonna grab the uh, lilies yeah we need like 20 of these so a couple more boss runs here plant time beep let's take a beat break to go back to the boss let's try some more burn melt here we go we can finally get all the stuff started here oh Okay, nice three drop, 10 to go. Back to beep. Yeah, the map says there are a bunch here, but I assume there's some quests you have to do first maybe. But yeah, maybe we already have enough anyway. No, we still need nine. There's a big cluster this here, I think. Beep. Yes, okay, boss should be back. My Risley was missing a goblet from the Charlotte video yesterday. So this should go a little better. Okay, that actually didn't go very well because uh, Shanling refused to ever get her burst. Next time for sure though. No, why did he get one shot? What? Oh my God, dude. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was my fault for swapping out to him. Well, that was definitely the worst run, but also the fastest run. Everyone just died. Another three drop, literally just two more runs now. Very lucky with the drops. Grizzly, oh, come on. Bastard had to move. Well, no one died this time at least. Two drop doesn't matter. Had to do one more run regardless. I mean, I guess while we're waiting for the last one to respawn, we can check out and make sure we can uh, actually do the, oh, we didn't get a single one of those, of course. There's the first one and then we can make three more with those black holes we got. I know they're not actually called black holes, but they kind of look like it. I was considering just getting ultimate to nine and leaving Salon Solitaire at six, but I think it's better to have them both at eight, to be honest. It seems like a small boost, you know, 0.02% increase, but then times 400 fanfare points at C1 anyway, it adds up. At level eight, we're going to 0.21, 84% damage boost with max fanfare at C1 versus level six, which was a 64% damage boost. So those two levels actually do kind of a lot. But yeah, for now, I just want them both at eight. Her skill basically just increases the damage of her little minions, which I think is important too. I mean, that is a good amount of off-field damage there. Boss should be respawned. If he just doesn't move for a couple seconds, you know? Just come on. No, there he goes. Eat ultimate, and then he dodged it. All right, whatever. Farina going up to final star level 90. She also gets crit rate on ascension, which is always nice. Makes characters a lot easier to build. There is level 90 itself. I know I just wasted a ton of XP. And we are, of course, going to give her her signature weapon as well that is still on Lynette. So there she is. We might need to tinker with her artifacts a little bit because of the new weapon and the fact we have um, maybe a ton of crit damage now. Actually, no, that looks pretty good. We might need a bit more energy recharge. I'm not sure yet. We should strike a balance between, you know, her doing a lot of damage and being able to at least somewhat consistently get her ultimate. I think the set I still have her in is good, Golden Troop. And honestly, I don't think there is a ton I can improve. Oh yeah, wait, what's our HP currently? 29? I would kind of really want her to have uh, 40k for the passive talent. This is a team I've currently been using, Farina, Kazuha, Baiju, Nuvolet. It's been working super well. There are some other teams I want to try as well, but this is the one I've kind of mainly been using. So we have 33.4k HP in this team because we have, you know, Hydra Res. I mean, we probably could sacrifice some crit damage. Oh yeah, this flower sacrifices a small amount of the crit stats for 12 HP and 11 energy. I think that's better overall. This plume basically only has crit damage on it. Could get that 15 HP and seven crit rate instead and energy recharge. I think I'll sacrifice that 24 crit damage. Yeah, I've been looking around and there's not much else I can do. So I think we're just gonna call that good enough. 
I mean, 37.4K, crit ratio is looking pretty good. Zero EM, in this team she doesn't need it. So I guess we're pretty much ready to go. Again, I do wanna test a couple things first and also I wanna try and get a C2. Actually, we might just try and do the C2 first. I would also really like a C1 Baiju for his extra E cast, but I wanna C2 Farina a lot more. I think we did pull a few more times, so I gotta check where we are in history. Yeah, we're a bit back there. 22 and we need to win the 50-50. So it's actually 22 out of 180. I'm probably gonna start doing that. Anyway, since I usually stream my summons, maybe a, a, a non-streamed summon session will be lucky for some reason. Oh, hey, look at that. We got our C4, Charlotte. That's the first of three anyway. Next in pull is another four star. Feels kind of weird to do a summon session in the middle of a god mode. I gotta be honest. I think it was just a lion's roar. We're gonna skip. Next tin pull, still a four star. Uh, that's a Kale. Let's just skip. Yeah, I figured it'd be a double four because Kale was the first. This is our last tin pull before we gotta check the shop. Five star? No, man. Oh, but our C5 Charlotte. We should be coming up to the five star really soon. Let's just grab five. Hope for the best. Hope we do not lose 50-50. I think this should be enough. This should be the five star. Come on. What? Dude, where are we? Double call A. Man, okay, you win. Ugh. This has definitely got to be the five star though, right? Right? Yes, okay. Please win 50-50. Fair shadow, oath. No, it's a Dia. At least it wasn't one of the ones I had C6 already, but come on. Why? I just wanted one more. Okay, well, I guess on a slightly bright side, we're most likely gonna get C6 Charlotte. But yeah, I was really hoping we just win 50-50. Maybe we get really lucky with an early five star. I'm not feeling it though. There, we got a cool book thing. We're gonna have to whale again? Just for one, sh just for one Farina? There's the C6 Charlotte. Honestly, I would have just rather had the Farina. Lost track already. We're just zooming now. I kind of just want my Farina so I can get on with the showcase. Okay, still nothing there. This is definitely turning out to be the hardest five star ever. Um, I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more, more uh, painless because this isn't even a summoning video. But no, I guess it doesn't matter. Jesus Christ, still nothing. Kale, this one, maybe? Okay, thank, thank you. You definitely owe us a double five star though. I'm just saying, like... I mean, there she is. And then one, yeah, so second to last. That was harsh. Anyway, we got our C2, Farina. There are a couple things I wanna test. So I more or less figured out that at C0, it's almost impossible to get max fanfare without a character like Nuvalet. So we're gonna do our ultimate. And yeah, we we actually do get pretty close, uh, you know, with like Baiju and timing his uh, thing well. So then, you know, we uh, heal up. And there's like the dudes down there. A lot of dudes currently, you know, but I don't think we ever actually fully reach max fanfare. I want to see if needing 50 fanfare less to reach max would be enough. So we're going to go ahead and activate C1. Let's try this again at C1. We're going to go ahead and do our ultimate, put those dudes down. Oh, whoops. Those three now. Now we're at a bit of a disadvantage, but uh, so they're, they're just going to keep attacking. We're going to go ahead and do a Baiju healing here now. Yeah, I mean, oh, there goes Max Fanfare. Okay, it was nearly at the end, but we kind of did screw up some stuff. But it seems like as long as you have C1 and a decent party-wide healer like Baiju, I think Charlotte might work. Jean is another good one. Then you don't necessarily need one of these Fontaine DPSs that are consistently, you know, losing and regaining HP. It still would make it a lot faster. Let's do a whole rotation here on Masanori and see how fast we get Max Fanfare. All right, let's check this out. So we're gonna just start with our ultimate here. Get the three little dudes out. Why is it always that? How annoying. Okay. Uh, do that, get a Baiju in there, do Nuvalet stuff. And then, uh, let's see, there's Max Fanfare. Okay, unfortunately Masanori just died, but you can see we still have the border. Still plenty of time in Max Fanfare. So I do think it's still better to have like Nuvalet or Risley, but it's not like super mandatory anymore, you know? Now, how fast do we actually get Max Fanfare at C2? This should be interesting. Now we should be getting 2.5 fanfare points instead of one. And we'll get a big Farina HP boost, so we'll check that out also. But let's just go ahead and activate it. And I do wanna do the test again, just without using Nuvalet and seeing how fast now we get the max stacks. All right, so Farina ultimate. We're basically just not gonna do anything except heal with Kazuha in a bit. Oh, I'm so dumb, I didn't put the three dudes out. Wow. Okay, we'll have to redo that one, but uh, Oh, wow. Oh my God. Okay. 
We literally got max fanfare so fast without even doing a team wide heal. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. We get literally two and a half times more points, but wow, that was crazy. I wasn't expecting it that fast. Yep, definitely at C2, you can use any DPS. So ultimate E, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go into a Baiju heal immediately. Yep, there's max fanfare. Wow, that is crazy. And we are doing some insane damage with those three pets over there. Like not even doing anything else, 53K? Oh my god, I didn't realize those little dudes would do that much. I wasn't paying attention to it until now. Like, I'm focused so much on fanfare, but those dudes are doing main DPS levels of damage by themselves. What? Oh, but also, yeah, Farina, I never even checked how much HP she has. Okay, we're gonna completely ignore Nuvolet right now, and uh, just look at Farina, Kazuha, and Baiju as a team. Okay, here we go. We're going to uh, put the dudes out, do our ultimate. Swirl with uh, Kazuha here. That should have worked already. Go to Baiju. Go back to Farina. You can see her max HP is 63k right now. What? What do we? What do those dudes do? Oh my God! I can't even see anything. He's dead too fast. Oh wait, this should be Midnight Masanori, which is a little tankier. All right, here we go. So Farina ultimate E. Just basically swirl with Kazuha. We got to get a Baiju healing in there already. And actually, we may as well do Kazuha ultimate as well. And then I guess we're just gonna try and look at what the oh, 54k I just saw. I just saw 54k from those dudes. 75k. Dude, dude is doing 75k damage. One of the little minions. That, that, that is stupid. What? This doesn't make any sense, dude. Okay. Why, why are those little dudes doing so much damage? Oh, man. Okay. I mean, they're definitely not doing as much now because we are uh, outside of burst mode and no Kazuma buff anymore. But holy God, that was... That was, that was crazy. I just saw little bro do 75k though, like, and that was like the first proper try here, you know? I'm sure there's so much more possible even. Testing finished. I definitely 1 million percent think C2 is way crazier than C1. C1 is nice, you know? You do get some extra damage boost there, but C2 is, is insane. Not only can you use whatever DPS you want to, she gets max fanfare almost instantly just from her minions. And then 140% max HP, like very quickly as well. She is crazy. But yeah, let's go ahead and head to Abyss. And I think uh, on our way to floor, you know, 11 and 12, where we could really see something, we'll be trying some different teams. So we do have some teams, uh, courtesy of someone in my video suggestions discord called Ivan, which sound pretty interesting. First one we're actually gonna try is both Farina and Yolan together. I don't think Farina has as much Hydro application as Yolan, so they're good for different reasons. And this team, we actually are going to use Jean as our healer, most likely with four piece VR Destin for the swirls. So basically, Jean fills the role of Kazuha and a healer. And then for our DPS, very interesting, is going to be Hu Tao. And I think, especially at C2, this team will work well because we don't necessarily need to have a bunch of, you know, HP down and ups. I think because Hu Tao does consume a lot of her own HP as well, it could work even at C1 or maybe even C0. The one issue is that Hu Tao won't be that often under 50% HP, thus getting her own boosts. But in this team, it doesn't matter so much. You still get a bigger damage boost from having Farina than Hu Tao being under 50%. Hu Tao is going to be the main DPS here. I have no idea why she has over a thousand defense. 876 base defense. What the hell? 32k HP mm, could be more but we will be in double hydro so that should go up 66 crit to 235 crit damage i think that's pretty good 138 em actually also could be more one thing we definitely could do for this team in particular is give farina the key this will boost hu tao's em by a good amount we could also and our yolan has elegy which would give us another big boost in fact i think we're just going to deal with elegy yolan and keep farina with her signature because it's God mode. She is supposed to have her signature, period. Where's good old Jean at? There she is. My Jean is finally C2, so we get the, an attack speed increase here, which is okay, I guess. She already does have four piece viridescent. I might just leave her like this, whatever stats she has. I mean, they're like whatever, I guess. Maybe more energy recharge would be nice. Prototype Rancor. It's like Skyward Blade for more energy recharge. Yeah, I think we'll just do that. If I remember right, her healing is based off of attack. Yes. We might need to try this team for at least Floor nine and 10 to see something. Second half doesn't matter. We're just gonna solo with Nuvolet. <laughs> so here we go. We're just going to uh, start with her ultimate here, I suppose. Get the three little minions out. Get Yolan's burst. I guess now we're gonna go to Jean because everyone needs a bit of healing, I suppose. Uh, and then I guess uh, Hu Tao. Let's see, what what are we actually doing here? I mean, I see that like 28 maybe. 
I think everything's gone by now. Okay, I really couldn't see anything at all. That was way too hectic. Next floor. Well, this is gonna be a little annoying. We have Hydro dudes here, which means uh, we shouldn't be doing too much damage with Yolan and uh, Farina, so... We can do Jean's Burst again. And then uh, here we go, we can do some stuff. Let's see. Oh, one, I think that was a 168 charge attack right there. Jeez, fanfare is gone. We can actually re-get it though. Our energy is actually good in this team, it, it seems. And Jean's Burst is back. Okay, this is actually working out super well. Boom. Okay, unfortunately, we're not gonna have a lot of energy for the next side because everyone died. Yeah, this one's definitely a little bit more annoying here. We need Jean's Burst real quick. We do have max fanfare, but yeah, that, that'll probably be gone before we can do anything with Hutao. Uh, what? No! Yeah, we couldn't do anything. Well, doesn't matter. I think this is the last floor before moving on to uh, floor 10. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of potential there. We're going to try the team again at floor 10. Kind of want to throw them in second half because there's at least a Ruin Grader at the end. So we might be able to actually like see something on him. Maybe even like a Hu Tao burst. All right, here we go. Chamber one. Just going to start off with that stuff. Again, maybe I should do a burst first. I don't think it matters that much. Probably going to start with Jean's burst. Again, maybe we could wait a little bit. Come on, what the hell? I literally couldn't even do anything with Hu Tao. Yeah, we should have it now. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, Jean. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get Jean's ultimate. Whatever. Let's just see here. Boom. Uh, normal attack for 60k. That's all I could see. <laughs> and final chamber with that Ruin Grader. Uh, two, two Ruin Graders. Should be able to get the ultimate really quick here. Oh, we definitely need uh, Jeans, though. Damn. We need that urgently. We do have her burst, thankfully. We should have, like, max fanfare easily as well now. All right, we're, we're just going to do an ultimate 289. Okay. I've actually seen more with Hu Tao, but not a ton more. So I just knew I had to do her ultimate right then, or we wouldn't even see it. Because uh, I saw how fast they were dying. Yeah, I think we kind of have to use the team again for floor 11. Although here we have a cryo and hydro bonus. So I'd rather try the Risley team. This team actually uses Charlotte. Being the second cryo, you get cryo res. Then Farina turns it into a freeze team. And then we have Kazuha for all the Kazuha stuff. We are going to leave our Charlotte at C2 level 70. Because I just want to wait until I god mode her to do all that. I mean, even how she is, how she's built being level 70. Like I was seeing 20k party wide heals with Charlotte. So as for first half, we I think we're just going to go uh, solo Nouvellet. Oh, wait, it's the defense late light one. I'm sure he can handle it. Yeah, I mean, it definitely would have been better with the full team. We're at 85 percent. All right, here we go. We're just going to start with their ultimate here. Get that. Go ahead and just do that so we can now swirl the that. Uh, let's uh, go to Risey real quick. Do one. OK, let's do a charge. OK, this dude does not have cryo on him, but he's like dead. Okay, I'm definitely not used to that rotation yet. Chamber two, what do we got here? Uh, just a ruin guard to start, okay. I'll just do our burst then. Get that. Just do a Charlotte tap for the cryo. And go to Risley real quick. Yeah, okay. Now we're gonna go back to Charlotte to do the burst healing and uh, do a ca another Kazuha swirl. I guess we could just do like his burst maybe. Damn, those are hitting for 29k each. That's actually really good. Yeah, at this point, everything is kind of gone, but this is the last enemy, so honestly, I'm just gonna save, save ultimates for the last chamber. All right, final chamber for floor 11 here. Oh yeah, we got these dudes. We definitely need Charlotte ultimate, Jesus Christ. They're doing a lot of damage. Let's do another swirl. Ooh, damn, this one's actually hard. Hold on, how close are we to getting uh, Charlotte back? Oh my God, and I just realized her, uh, uh, Farina's minions are doing literally nothing but eating our, our HP at the moment because uh, these guys are immune to Hydra, lol. Oh, Risley died. Saw that coming. We were a bit faster with Nuvolet, I believe now. Yeah, a little over 30 seconds. We still do get max fanfare pretty quick, even without using Farina's minions. So so I think that's just what, what we're gonna have to do. It does help us keep a bit healthy with the Risley here as well. This run is going so much better for some reason. Maybe just cause I kind of gave up on using Farina's minions. That's probably the case here. All right, there we go. But honestly, yeah, the team just, wasn't the best, especially for that last floor there. Moving on to floor 12, though, the last team Ivan suggested I don't think would be 
super good for floor 12. It's a hyper bloom team, which is just generally good, but I tried using Kuki and Farina together and she just doesn't heal enough. This might be more of a C6 Farina team because at C6, Farina has team white healing. Pretty much good enough to counteract her HP consumption from the minions. This would be the team in question, and I think it would be good again either at C6 Farina or for like a single boss. So I think we are gonna just make the Hyper Bloom a little weaker, but more sufficient. Keeping the second Dendra in there with uh, Baiju for Dendra Res and uh, Kuki. This is still technically Hyper Bloom, obviously not as good without a main DPS in there like I'll hate them, but with Farina, I just feel like you definitely need a really solid team white healer. Starting with the uh, little seahorse dude, we're just gonna get the three dudes out and do ultimate. Uh, go to Nahida, tag, do her uh, uh, ultimate as well. Talk, please, Moga. Uh, sure, we'll do Baiju's ultimate, and then uh, go to Kuki Shinobu to pop all the hyper blooms. And then uh, I don't know. We're just gonna head back to Nahida and keep applying the. Uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. Farina actually doesn't have a ton of. Hydro application. In terms of other hyper blooms I've used, it's not like insanely good actually. Also, the damage boost from fanfare stacks don't do anything for hyper bloom. The hyper blooms themselves are doing still like good damage though. Oh, and the dude's dead. Okay. It was about a minute. I think I've killed it faster, but not by like a ton. Well, let's see how this side goes. We actually don't have Freena. Okay, we have Freena's ultimate now. Maybe a little late, but uh, we should have pretty much all the boosts now. But again, yeah, like we're not producing a ton of blooms. Definitely enough. We got that. We got through that floor in like 45 seconds. This one I think is generally harder though, but we got through this with uh, about a minute and 15 left. Final chamber for the final floor. Oh yeah. Mirror Maidens have a bunch of Hydro Res. I mean, the Mirror Maiden is getting kind of shredded though, which is nice. Gonna refresh those dudes over there. I do feel like I have a bit of a, oh my God, Nahida just nearly got one-shotted. I mean, it's going well though. I I had lots of trouble with, with, with these guys in the past and we just did that floor in a little over a minute. So definitely not bad. One more noob charged. Yep, there we go. So I just tried those three different Freena teams. Uh, and now some thoughts. I really like the Hu Tao one. I didn't get to see much because everything died so fast, but I can definitely see a lot of potential there, especially with Yelan. I think that is Farina's like biggest drawback is that she doesn't have that much Hydro application. So I think pairing Farina and Yelan together is like you have big, big damage boosts and plenty of Hydro application. The Risley team, I definitely see potential in. I think the main issue there was that my Charlotte isn't really on the same level as everyone else right now. Otherwise though, it is a freeze team. It has its drawbacks. I mean, Risley and Farina together just makes sense anyway, of course. And the Hyper Bloom team, it did perfectly fine. We got through everything first try in plenty of time remaining. I just felt like, again, Farina didn't have quite enough Hydro application to con to get a lot of blooms. Of course, with I'll Hate Them, it would have been a lot better because you're also getting, you know, spread and I'll Hate Them himself would be de dealing a lot of damage. It's just until C6 Farina, I don't see how you can get through that without just having your team half dead all the time. My favorite team though is probably still the one I tried first with Nuvolet, just because I really, really love Nuvolet and I don't think he's even necessary anymore with Farina at C2 because she gets the fanfare so freaking fast anyway. But I think Nuvolet's like my favorite main DPS right now. But yeah, that was God Mode Farina. I did want to explore more of her own personal damage from those minions. We saw some pretty insane things versus Masanori, and we will actually get to that when we check her C6 R5 out later on. But for now, that'll do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like or subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.